What's up everybody, Review Man here, and today is Christmas, and today I am reviewing one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, A Christmas Story. A Christmas Story is about this boy named Ralphie Parker, who wants nothing more for Christmas than a BB gun, a Red Rider BB gun, and he says, I want an official 200 shot range motor air rifle with a compass and stock and this thing that tells time. And everybody is telling him and telling him and telling him, oh, you shoot your eye out, kid, you shoot your eye out. Ralphie's being devastated. He's dealing with people telling him that he'll shoot his eye out. His teacher's telling him that he'll shoot, he'll shoot his eye out. His mom's telling him that he'll shoot his eye out. Even the department store saying that it looks like a Nazi is telling him that he'll shoot his eye out. And so Randy, uh, Ralphie, he's going through living life and going through school as a normal eight-year-old boy does. And and he's going to school. He, he's dealing with things like friends, bullies, things of that nature. Things um, that normal eight-year-olds have. And so he's trying to be determined and determined to get this BB gun. But while all this is going on, you got some few other stories, Dylan. You got a few other stories. The dad who's a who fights with a furnace inside their house, he's he wins this major award. And this major award is a leg lamp. The most hideous leg lamp that has <laughs> the most hideous leg lamp that has been um ever made. I think they just made this leg lamp for this movie. Because they know that a Christmas story is a Christmas. That I, I wonder whenever they made this movie if they knew that a Christmas story would be a, an instant classic. They show it every single year on TV, 24 hours a day on TBS. And I think TNT started doing it this year too. But anyway, movie's going on. Ralphie, Randy, and everybody else is enjoying the Christmas and enjoying school. And Ralphie's dealing with this bully named Scott Fargus. And Scott's been tormenting Ralphie, Flick, and Schwartz. That's Randy's, that's Ralphie's best friends. It's tormenting them all throughout the movie. And then, um, R Randy, Ralphie's on the edge at school. And then they, then they go out to the recess, recess ground. And Schwartz tells Flick that, you know, go ahead and stick your tongue to the flagpole. It won't, it won't, it'll stick. And then Flick's not believing them. So what they do, this is one of the most classic scenes in the entire movie. What they do is they, um, he sticks his tongue to the flagpole. Everybody runs inside when the bell rings, leaving poor Flick out in the snow. And the teacher's like, where's Flick? Everybody was like, Flick, Flick who? And then they said, Ralph, Ralphie, because Ralphie is Flick's best friend. He's to, he, she asked him, she says, Ralphie, do you know where Flick is? And he's like, nope. And one little girl raises his hand. He's like, yeah. She points outside. She sees Flick. Oh my God! And what she does is she runs to call the cops and the she runs to call the cops and the firemen. And then the cops and the firemen show up to rescue the rescue Flick. And Ralphie's feeling kind of bad that um Ralphie's feeling kind of bad about he left Flick out there. He should have stuck up. He should have stuck up for his best friend. But. Oh, sorry guys, I just woke up and I just watched this movie. But <coughs> but anyway, movie's going on. The teacher she brings Flick back in the classroom and she and she says and she's looking like right at Ralphie whenever she says this. Now I know some of you put Flick up to this, but he has refused to say who. But those who did know their blame and I'm sure the guilt is far worse than any punishment you might receive now boys and girls I want you to write an assignment I want you to write a theme which is like a little small essay paragraph what I want for Christmas and then Ralphie sees this as an opportunity to get get to his teacher that, so his teacher can get to his parents about the BB gun and then he's like Ugh. And then he says Ralphie sees this as an opportunity. I just say that. And so, um, movie keeps on going on. They, and then the dad, he gets this major award. He gets the, he gets the lamp. And the mom, the mom doesn't care for the lamp. But the dad thinks the mom's jealous of the lamp. And the mom's like, jealous? Jealous of what? That is the ugliest lamp I've seen in my entire life. And, because the mom ends up breaking the lamp in the movie. And, then he tries to fix the lamp with some glue. 
and <coughs> he tries to fix them, the lamp with some glue, but the lamp falls apart. So what he does is he buries the lamp in the backyard by the garage. And while that's going on, you got what you got going on next. Ralphie's still trying to figure out how to get the BB gun, and so what he does is he gets his green. He, he bribes the teacher with a um, with a fruit with a fruit basket, and the teacher's like, "Thank you, thank you." And then Ralphie's like, "I did, I just thought you'd be getting tired of the same old stuff." And the whole movie is narrated by uh, like a supposed to be like an older version of Ralphie, played by Bob Clark, I think. I think the guy's name was. Anyway, what was going on? And he gets his he gets his thing back, and he gets a C plus. He's like C plus. Oh no! And at the bottom, the teacher writes P S. You'll shoot your eye out. He's like you'll shoot your eye out. Oh no! And then he look and he's like my mother must my mother guess must have gotten a miss shield. It's the only explanation. And so what he does is he looks in the corner of the classroom. He sees like the wicked witch from the Wizard of Oz and like Jester pointing at Ralph. He's saying you'll shoot your eye out. And then the movie, then the next scene of the movie is one of my other favorite classic scenes, where he beats up the bully, Scott, and, Scott and his brother, um, Scott and his brother, his bully or Toadie or whatever, he, he um, he gets, what does he do? Oh yeah, Scott, they throw a snowball at Ralphie, and he's like, listen jerk, when I tell you to come, you better come. And Ralphie's like getting all up in rage, and he's like, <sighs> and then the bull's like, "What are you gonna cry now? Come on, cry, baby, cry for me! Come on, cry for me!" And then he's like, then what he does is he runs toward Scott, he pounces on him, he starts beating the crap out of him, saying like all these swears. That gets like all the kids in the, that gets like all the kids in the neighborhood. They're like, "Oh, Ralphie! Hey, it's Ralphie! He's beating up Scott! He's beating up Scott!" And he's saying like all these things. And he's been saying like all these things, and we keep on going. And then Randy, Randy Flick, and Schwartz they all show up. Randy goes and runs to get Ralphie, Ralphie's mom. They're because Ralphie and Randy are brothers. Ralphie get ends up and go get all the sorry, and they go get the mom and. Then he pull. She ends up pulling Randy off, Ralphie off of Randy. I mean Ralphie off of Scott. And then they take, and they take him home. And Scott and uh, Scott like standing there with like blood all over on this side of his face. And I think he served him right. That that was a classic justice, but serves him right. So the movie's going on. And Ralphie go. Ralphie and all them go home. And his dad's like, "Where's your glasses?" What, what happened to your glasses? And then the mom says, Oh, you left these on the radio again. And then the dad asks, What happened today? Mom says, Oh, nothing much. R Ralphie got in a fight. Dad says, A fight? And the mom's like, Yeah, you know how kids are. The mom was pretty much sticking up for sticking up for Ralphie. And it was that point in the movie that Ralphie knew that he, want, he wasn't in trouble. That his mom was sticking up for him. That just goes to show you. Always treat your mom nicely. And... Always treat your mom nicely, and she'll she'll stick up for you. Um, Cause Ralphie was causing some causing justice. And then the movie movie's going on. The next the next um the next thing we see is old Ralphie still trying to figure out how to get the BB gun. And he's like, Yeah, I'll, I know. I gotta ask. I'll ask Santa. And then they say, Yes, yeah, Santa, the big man, the head honcho. And so what they do next is they go to the um they go to this mall, see the department store the department store Santa, and Ralphie meets the, Ralphie meets the get Santa. Santa's like ho 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 ho. And what's your name, little boy? The creepy ass not Nazi Santa. The creepy Nazi Santa. <laughs> That's what the Santa Claus looks like. I mean, if you watch the movie, he looks like a Nazi. What do you want for Christmas, little boy? And Ralphie's like all blinking. He's like, and then Santa's like, how about a nice football? Football, football. What's a football? And so he's like, oh, and like, and the Santa's like, okay, get him out of here. And they, the, the way that they get rid of the kids in this movie is they send them down a, like a giant, a giant slide into this, into this fluffy foam. 
And Ralph is like, no, 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 wait, I want to, I want to be begun. I want a 200 shot range for my rifle. And Santa's like, you should try out, kid. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in this movie, Ralph, Ralph, your rose glasses that will come important later in the movie. And is and Santa, Ralph is like, and Santa's like, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 and pushes Ralphie down with his boot. And so the movie keeps the movie goes on. Ralphie's like all devastated, and then they. Then they end up getting the tree. They end up getting the tree, and um, Ralphie says, um, "The car breaks down on the side of the road." And Ralphie's like, "And the, Ralphie's mom's like, go help your dad with, with change the tire." And Ralphie's out there change, helping his dad change the tire. His dad, oh yeah, his dad owns an Oldsmobile in this movie. And he not and not called he knocks all the bolts out of his hands and stands instead of saying he says oh fudge but he actually says the f word so yeah Ralph they end Ralphie ends up um okay movie's going on Ralphie Ralphie says the f word they go back to his house and his um his mom puts a bar of soap in his in his mouth and. What else happened? Ralphie puts the bar soap in his mouth. He ends up telling his mom that Schwartz did it instead of hearing it from his dad. And Schwartz is his best friend. And he has this idea that he gets soap poisoned by the time he's 21 and his parents be sorry. Okay. Then after Ralphie um, talks to the department, the, the Santa Claus, Santa Claus tells him that he'll shoot his eye out. Then the next thing that we see is what happens next. What does happen next? What does happen? Oh yeah, ends up putting they they end up seeing the department store saying I get in the get in the tree. Ralphie says fudge, and then then whenever they're home putting the tree up, the parents are like, you know what? I think I heard seeing a sleigh bells across the street. And he's like, they're like, okay, boys, get upstairs and go to bed. So Santa will come. And all the boys, are, the the two boys, are go up the stairs and get the get in bed and go to sleep. And the dad's like, okay, let's get the presents. Let's get the presents and wrap. And then the next morning we see it's it's Christmas morning. And Ralph and they're all they're all looking for they're all getting open and presents and all this other stuff like they do like you do on Christmas. And everybody's like, okay, yeah, we'll get up, we'll get all this stuff. The dad ends up getting bowling ball, a can of Simon Eyes, right? Uh, everybody, they get clothes. And another classic scene in this entire, in this movie, this movie is chock full of classic scenes, which makes it a Christmas classic, is where um, Ralphie gets the, gets the bunny suit. If you're not familiar with the bunny suit, it's a pink, it's a pink bunny suit. With, with pink rabbit ears and pink fluffy, pink fluffy um rabbit rabbit slippers, it's sent by his aunt Claire. His aunt Claire has thought ever since the day that he was like three or four that he was a girl that he was a girl because of the name Ralphie. I guess I don't know. I never met any girls named Ralphie. So anyway, movie's going on. Uh, he gets the everybody's opening Christmas they already got the Christmas presents the turkey's cooking in the turkey's cooking in the stove and everybody's got open in Christmas presents and the dad asked him you, and the dad asked Ralphie yeah pretty good Christmas and the Ralph was like yeah you can get everything you want yeah almost the dad's like almost yeah that's life the world is always next Christmas the dad looks over at the wall what's that behind the desk Ralphie's like what He's like, did Dad, Dad go? He, he tells Ralphie, go, go take a look. Ralphie goes over there. He pulls out this box. It's the Red Rider BB gun. The Dad ended up getting Ralphie the Red Rider BB gun for Christmas. And then he 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 gets the um. And then the mom looks at the Dad. I had one when I was eight years old, so he decided to get one for Ralphie. Bring on a classic tradition. Now I had a red. Now I got a Red Rider BB gun. Oh, um, yeah, I, I got a Red Rider BB gun when I was younger. I love the movie. I love the gun. It doesn't do much to animals, but it stuns them a little bit. But anyway, movie's going on. He takes the, um, he takes the, 
he takes the uh, BB gun out back and he shoots and he's aiming at cans and he's shooting them off and the minute that he um, the minute that he shoots the gun um, BB goes off the off the side of the um off the side of the building, hits an icicle, comes back and knocks his knocks his uh, glasses off. Hence the term "you'll shoot your eye out." And he didn't really shoot his eye out, but his glasses fell off. And he went, he's went to go look for it. He's like, "Oh no, I shot my eye out." And the mom's like, "Randy, you Ralphie, you be careful. Now I don't want you shooting your eye out." And Ralph was like, "Oh gosh, she hadn't seen. She couldn't have seen." But moms know everything. So anyway, movie's going on. He ends up looking for his glasses. He ends up stepping on his glasses, and he ends up he ends up crying. He's like, "Oh no!" He ends up crying after he's broke his glasses. And his mom takes him upstairs, washes him up. The dad's like, "What? What? What's going on out there?" The mom's like, "Nothing. You stay away from that turkey. It's not fully cooked. You'll get worms." The dad just eats some turkey. And the dad just eats a piece of turkey anyway, because he's a turkey junkie, as said in the movie. And the dad and they're um they're up ma, the mom and the de, the mom and Ra Ralphie are upstairs cleaning um cleaning up Ralph cleaning up Ralphie's wounds and all that. The dad's looking at the newspaper. He's like, "Randy, get up!" And Randy like them fell asleep with a with his uh, little zip zip one toy that he got in that he got for Christmas. And he's like just standing there. The dad's looking at the the dad's looking at the paper. He he hears these dogs. He's like, "What?" He ends up looking at it again. And then he sees all the Bumpus' hound dogs. The Bumpus' are their next door neighbors. And he says, The turkey! And what he does is he runs into the, runs into the kitchen, sees the Bumpus' and hound dogs eating the turkey, knocking over the table and eating the turkey. I want to know how the Bumpus' got in the house. Oh, I want to know how they got in the house because whenever um, Ralphie's mom took him upstairs, they let the back door open. And the Bumpus' dogs got in the house and eating the turkey. And then the mom came back. The dad said, what? What? what the, where's the turkey? And then he said, eh, sons of a bitches, Bumpus'ons. And because the dad hated the next door neighbors of Bumpus'ons. And then, everybody, then the dad's like, mom's crying over the turkey. Ralphie's giving her the... Ralphie's giving her the uh the rag so she can wash wash her face, wipe her tears away. And the dad's like, Everybody upstairs get dressed. We're going out to eat. And where's the only one of the only real places that are open on Christmas Day? A Chinese restaurant. They had Chinese turkey, which was aka a duck. And they had a live band, which was actually the the people that weren't there serving food, singing for them, and Chinese people deck the halls with boughs of hari, ra 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 ra. And then they um, then they end up eating the the mom's like, oh. and then the guy's like, what? The dad looks at the guy that owns the Chinese place. He's like, it's it's smiling at me. They end up cutting the tur the duck's head off. And then they end up eating the Chinese turkey, which was the duck. And then the movie ends with Ralph, uh, the dad and the mom looking at the um, looking outside of the of uh, looking outside and looking outside at the snow. Which I think this I think this was in Indiana. This movie was in Indiana. It might have been. I don't know. But anyway, movie movie wraps up with the mom and the dad uh, looking outside at the snow. And then Ralphie's is laying in bed with a gun, dreaming about hit, uh, shooting things and shooting animals and getting all kinds of cool shots with his gun and everything. And so, yeah, anyway, that was pretty much it. That was A Christmas Story. One of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. One of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, my dad, he was a... He, I got the VHS. I don't have the DVD, but my dad, he was upset. He's obsessed with. I mean, actually, he's not obsessed with this movie. He just loves it like I do. Uh, and so we'll um, we'll catch you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Merry Christmas and be safe.